Did, didn't you fucking shame Danny Brown into giving you shoes? No, mm-hmm. that was a TV. Oh, a TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. when I first moved here, uh, something had happened with my shit being shipped and I ain't had no TV. And I asked Danny Brown, could I come stay at his house? Because it's hard for me to fall asleep with no TV. And he's like, man, I'll buy you a TV. Yeah, I, like, that's nothing. And I, was, and I was like, all right, well, let's go right after the show. Let's go get the TV. <laughs> you call him on it. Like, yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't just say you'll do you're it. Right, let's go do it. And so uh, he never bought the TV. And then the next time I, I saw him, he's like, nigga, I got plenty of TVs. I'll just give you one. I'm like, I don't yeah, want Yeah, you keep talking about it. <laughs> like, where's my TV? Where's bro? my TV? Yeah. So uh, I always fuck with him about I got a TV now. So uh, <laughs> we're good. But I always fuck with him about that. Shafir Skeptic Tank Podcast. My name is Ari Shafir. On today's episode, yep, that's right. I'm finishing off this fucking area that I'm doing intros on. On today's episode, um, Hans Kim and David Lucas join me in uh, Hans Kim's room um, where I don't fuck up the recording. Everything worked out quite well. Went to their house. They live better than I do. That's what you get when you live in Austin. I did two weeks of uh, podcast in Austin. This one, and then another one with Brian Simpson coming up. Um, fun episode. We just talked about getting free shit. Call it freebies. Something that's not free, however, is my tour. Where you can see me. Pittsburgh. This starts in January. Pittsburgh. Where am I going? Hold on. Let me do this right. Pittsburgh. Salt Lake City. Tampa. Key West. Uh, um... Seattle, no, Denver, Seattle, Vancouver, San Jose, back home, the Beacon, skiing in the Alps, UK, Europe. We'll see what's on sale. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know, check out these guys' podcasts, and, and that's it, you guys. I don't know. I got merch that's up for sale. Um, there it is. I'll do drops later, but here's the merch. I got Shabbos Goy 2 Different Shabbos Goy t-shirts. Check out the link at the bottom of the screen to get those. Two different Shabbos Goy t-shirts. If you want to, if you want to show that you're an ally to the Jewish community, there's only one way to do it. It's saying, especially with all this Kanye stuff, you guys. Everyone's like, oh, who hates the Jews? Who hates the Jews? The least you could do to help the Jews is when one of them can't turn their light on on Shabbos on the Sabbath, you can be their Shabbos Goy. If you see my special, you know what I'm talking about. That's a very small amount of stuff you can do to show that you're an ally to the Jewish community. That you would, if asked, can you please turn my light on or off, my air conditioning on or off. You'll be a Shabbos Goy, the highest level of Goy. And right now, you can show that you're an ally and not anti-Semitic by getting a Shabbos Goy t-shirt. That's right. Go to my site right now. Get your own Shabbos Goy t-shirt. There's also uh, yarmulkes from the special. I was at Ari Shafir's Bar Mitzvah on one side, Ari Shafir Jew on the other side. It's got the date, the special, in Hebrew. It's the original special that got canceled by the LA Lakers. Uh, that date. But uh, that's there. And then limited edition, limited edition risograph prints. Very limited edition. They'll never be reproduced. Um, and psychedelic playing cards. That's right. The suits are mushrooms. Uh, acid, weed, and DMT. Guess who the king of mushrooms is? This guy, Ari Shafir. That's available. That's my merch right now. Plus uh, the cat shirts um, and much else. But if you order right now, you can get, uh, hopefully, I think, you can still get them in time for Hanukkah. That's right. In time for Hanukkah. Get your own Shabbos Goy t-shirt. They'll be sent in time for Hanukkah or Christmas. Uh, all these things will be sent in Christmas. Those, those psychedelic playing cards are fun to play with. You should, you should get some. Um, get everything. Help support me and uh, wear yourself proud with your own uh, Ari Shafir shirt. All these profits go to me. Um, that's it. Let's start the episode, you guys. Um, freebies with David Lucas and Hans Kim. Starts now. Starts now. 
Because white people look more like monkeys than me. Like you kind of have a monkeyish look. Well, that's ridiculous. Like no. the one like from Black like Yeah, like the one from Jumanji. <laughs> you know the one from Jumanji? Hmm, let me think. Well, that little boy turned into that monkey. You kind of look like him. Okay. Well, that was yeah. a white guy that turned into a monkey. There so. we go. You ha- no. There's no movies with niggas turned into monkeys. There's no movies. Yo, yeah, because because you're already there. <laughs> <laughs> but think, like, think yeah. about we how you s- turn into dogs. White people turn into dogs. Yeah, that's what y'all smell like when y'all get sweaty. <laughs> Listen, I've tried. I've tried that so many times. A wet dog. Yeah, and I'll smell a wet dog when Bandit gets wet. I'm like, let me smell you. But nah, that's that's racist stuff. Black people say white people don't smell like wet dog. I have never really quite been able to get there. I, I yeah, like it's, almost. It's just racist, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just musky. Weird. It's like a dampness. Yeah, it's yeah, a little. Yeah. But it's like you're saying wet dogs smell like wet humans, or or wet dogs smell like regular humans. Only regular the people. only way Dirty, I can see a white humans. Only way I can see a white person smelling different from a black person is because of their diet. Because their diet. Yeah, like yeah. that would be the only reason you would like if we ate the same diet. I feel like we'd smell the same, dude. I, well, he had a, an Indian friend in, in college, and he reeked of curry. It just yeah. came out of him. Hold on, hold on. put your mic. To, your mic throw it in for a second. Forgot I gotta do this. Okay. What does that do? It's so that she hears a, like a loud spike. You oh. can match it up visually. Yeah, yeah and then yeah, when yeah. there's a spike on the camera, yeah, on yeah. that audio, you can yeah. just put it right, right there. Yeah. <laughs> look at all. If I, am I in that camera? That one. Oh, can you look for me? Do you have a woman edit your podcast? Yeah, you and Hans have been at this. I'm all on. My, this is all in. Yeah. Okay. All cool. You and Hans. Do a problem that I do a DIY ten times. I'm like, am I kid is recording? Yeah. Yep. It sucks when you're do it all and it didn't record. Yeah. Dude, I've done that so many times. Plus, don't tell Brian yet, but like his mic fucking went, I don't know when it went out. <laughs> <laughs> but by the end, it was not recording. I turned turn it off. It was already off. I try, I do, I get the, I try, I should just buy new batteries every fucking thing. But I'm like, no, this is going to go a bunch. <laughs> Luckily, he's loud enough where it picks up. He is loud enough. That's why I don't really do podcasts with more than just me. Why? Because it gets expensive. Yeah. Multiple cameras. I pay you guys too. Oh, That's how a, much? Two fifty. Lying. What? Today? Yeah. Wow. You believe me? Venmo. What do you mean? Okay, what do you mean yeah. today? You I, mean for this? What yeah. do you mean like you'll get it today? We get it today. Yeah, you get it today. Oh, I <laughs> well, you oh, got no, bills. You got to make it to an hour though. You know, you, gotta pay all, you know, like you Ari always be fucking with me, dog. So I don't even know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First of all, I would never lie about money. Check out. <laughs> you, you ain't never lie. Did you shoot Mark? What does it shoot out? Salt. Yeah. It's salt. Nothing comes out of this. Bro, yes it do. This man is Oh. This Did man is crazy. Yeah. You gonna put some my this is <laughs> This is crazy. Can you will that hurt? A little bit. It will hurt? Yeah, not too bad. Nah. Did it hurt? Just give me the bottom. Nah. Yeah, it might be out of flies. salt. It's for flies, dog. It's for flies. Don't yeah. get this man no real. You, you don't own a real gun. I can tell. Dude, you. if I had a real gun, I would not. You have to be a responsible gun owner. Yeah. I wouldn't. You, I, I can tell, bro. Look, the way I act with toy guns is the the way I act with my real gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> like for real, dog. Because I never want to practice bad habits. Who's that chick who got shot through the w- window? Uh, in the hood, Breonna like I know Taylor. Pre- yeah. Oh, Brianna Taylor. She didn't get she shot the through the window. Away. Through the, the wall. Do- the do- yeah. Oh, through the wall. Yeah. Through the wall. The guy was outside, right? Just fucking yeah. firing the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go watch the video, it's pretty much like this. There was yeah. a video of that one? Yeah. I watched These the whole thing. These cops are fucked. <laughs> I mean, but here's the thing, bro. Yeah. Bri- I thought he was like, we got the wrong place. Ah, 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 ah. Bri- Brianna Taylor wasn't as innocent uh, as... She was completely innocent. No, bro. She was in the house next door. Guilty by association, bro. What is it? The housing project? No. No, 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 no. Her car was party investigation. Her, her car was in... She her rented, ex. Yeah, her ex. She rented a car that they found, I think, uh, drugs in that she rented in her name that her ex boy, her ex drug dealer boyfriend used. Her apartment was on the warrant because it had been used to receive drug paraphernalia. There's That was not... Oh, mis- she was in the house. In my head, I had it as... I went to 973 Tucker Lane... And it was like, what, this isn't it? And, and then I just shot it in nine seven one. <laughs> no, no, no. Out so of anger. I think they knocked on the door. I mean, the, forgive me, Internet. I know y'all are going to scrutinize me if I F it up. But I think they knocked on the door. Her boyfriend, who she was dating at that time, busts out of the, the bedroom with a gun, I believe. And they started shooting at him. And then she got hit in the crossfire. Oh, interesting. That's why they're saying the no-knock warrants are so... I mean, because, dog, I mean... 
They busted into his house. Yeah. And they didn't ever say they were police. Like, Honestly, they busted in. I'm going to shoot. I mean, I sleep hard, bro. I might not hear you knocking. And if you just bust in, I might pick up my gun and start shooting. Yeah, like, yeah. who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in my home. But it's more fun that way. It if is you more fun. Bust no, not in. warrants are more fun. I would like the best way I want to serve a warrant is is repel through, through a stained glass <laughs> window. Boondock you know? Saints, or just yeah, just come down. And just come, come, or come, come, come. <laughs> I, I, I think it's, I get it eliminated. What I, I get it, police like the element of surprise, and I mean, sure, if, does. if you if you think about people who hang in the hood and 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 criminals, like they they do do drugs. You know what I'm saying? So between the hours of three and I'd say six a.m., they're probably <laughs> coming down off of whatever they were on. Three to six a.m. is the right time, right? Because there's a chance. At 6 a.m., they could be doing a day job to please their right, mom, like right. getting up for that. Between 3 and 6 is over. Right. I'd say between 4 and 6. 4 and 6? Because they're coming down off of whatever they want. Coming down, yeah. yeah. They're coming down. 5.15 <coughs> is the perfect time to serve yeah, a it is. <laughs> or just wait till they come out the door. You know? Can I tell you something horrible, Brianna Taylor? What's that? Not horrible, but I don't read the news. I stopped reading the news mm-hmm. years ago. I, st- I like stay away from it. If I see it on, I look right. away. So I just miss a lot of news stories. Which is great. Most of them I don't need to right. see. So when I heard about Breonna Taylor, I didn't hear about it. I just mm-hmm. saw Reggie Conquest post a picture of this woman and said, today's her birthday. Say her name. And I was like, <laughs> I want to be like, oh, tell your chick happy birthday, man. <laughs> 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 I'm still glad it is. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I, it seems like someone Reggie could get. Hey, you want me to tell you what my first interaction with uh, Ari was? No. Why not? Uh, it's not going to be great. It's not the worst. Okay. It was, it was, I was brand new on Kill Tony and he walks out butt ass naked on the stage uh, <laughs> at the, at the, in the main room at the comedy store. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, someone get this guy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> everybody was laughing. So I'm like, okay, everybody knows who the fuck he is. Casual like, male nudity. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm out of the loop because Tony's laughing his ass off. And I'm yeah. like, Black I mean, people hate casual male nudity. That shit gay. I mean. No, because dog, I'm I'm gay enough to say I'm straight though, but I'm gay enough to say that every time I see a man, if I'm sitting down, I look at his dick area. <laughs> <laughs> I Especially really like old boomers who like I do. tuck in their pants. Oh, I do look at I look at I look at the dick area, bro. You have to. What for? I don't oh. know why. I just do. It's interesting. There's a lot of information there. Yeah, I like to compare myself to other men. I think that's where know? they put their gun. You ever see like a really misshapen dick? Yeah, when they're old and they stuff it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's stuffed. What? When they, what do you mean stuffed? When old it's men old like stuff it in them tiny ass, ass whiteys. Oh, stuff it into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look at that. I'm telling you, I've seen naked, naked roast battle, and nine out of ten of those guys just have. Beyond nothing presentable, with <laughs> arrow cocks, with like little tiny. And who's fucking them? <laughs> Hopefully, no maybe one. they're growers. Nah, dude. But you can't grow that much if you got this dog. Like, how much you really growing, dude? I was in the bath once. I'll take a bath once in a while, and it was I was on my back in the water, and it was all head, <laughs> no yeah. shaft. It's all head. wrinkled. Yeah, it's I like was a just fucking looking at slinky. it, I was trying not to move because I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. It looked like a, a Super Mario Brother one <laughs> yeah. before it went away. Yeah, yeah the mushroom. Yeah, or the Koopas. Yeah, it's amazing how small dicks can get. Everyone talks about how big it can get, but it's also amazing how yeah, dicks, compact. Yeah, bro, I've been real cold, and I'm like, "What the fuck just happened to my?" Yeah, Will yeah, it yeah. ever grow oh, yeah. again? Have you ever seen? Have you ever heard of a guy who's like, "I can't get laid. My dick's too small." No. You know, you never heard. No, but that. but being, but you know what's crazy? The statistics. <laughs> you block it? St- no, it's, statistics <laughs> show it's, that. It's in the uh, shot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in the shot, but it's behind us. Statistics show, show that um, women who are in a relationship with men with like above average penises cheat on them with men with smaller penises. Interesting. Yeah. First of all, when you say statistics show, you've just heard that, right? You it was it was some article I was right, right, right. reading. Yeah. Okay. Just I, I want to see statistics of the people who quote statistics that they have not seen. <laughs> <laughs> statistics show that. You're like, that, sounds, that sounds smart. This is how the world is. David Taylor had this theory that guys will cheat on women, uh, like famous guys will cheat with, on women. They'll get hot chicks, they're famous, mm-hmm. but they'll cheat with women that they thought they could get when their sexuality became a thing. 
Mm. So before they became famous. Yeah. So like I if you see saw that. like Robin Williams, he would fuck models, but he would cheat with like sixes because mm-hmm. he was just this guy named Rob Williams, you know? Yeah. That, that was yeah. attainable. And, and that's right. who you think you can get. It's and like also, being bro, in for the uh, hood and you still like church's chicken. Yeah. And you, like could, and you couldn't afford a church's chicken. But now that but you now can. But now you got church's yeah. money. Yeah. But like, also, oh, bro. Oh, shit. Gotta it, go down you, and you, buy you, out the you've whole been You've been in L.A. Store. quite a bit. And you were in. I a, lived there you lived, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I lived there. And, and so th- there's this thing about L.A. where everybody wants to get a hot bitch. You know what I'm saying? And then you get that hot bitch and you find out she has zero substance. Zero. It's the fucking lie of L.A. Yeah. It's yeah. the lie of L.A. And like, there could be one that's hot that has a lot of substance. So like, that's. It, that's the dragon everyone's chasing. Right. And then you go, well, what about some actress? She's she's cool. And then you realize she, she's actually not cool. She got all the she's, problems in the world. She's putting on uh, airs for everybody. She's actually, if, and if she's showing you that she's cool, she's the worst piece of shit. Anyone who's like, no, I, some actors are okay. I know an actor who's okay. I'd be like, they're a dumb piece of shit. They're phonies. <laughs> no matter who says it. I have famous friends. And they're always like, no, no, I met this one guy who's cool. He's like, he's cool to you because you're famous. Right. That guy sucks a dick and I've never met him. Every actor sucks. Every actor sucks. <laughs> and then so, in LA, you got to compete with the Lakers, the Dodgers, the Clippers, yep. the Rams. Yep. The best the, musicians. Yeah, the best musicians. are Arme- Random Armenian dudes with a lot of money. <laughs> Random Armos. they fix your fucking hood. <laughs> Arm and Hammer, bro. You you got to compete with so much in L.A. Is it producers? Yes. You, you think you think Harvey Weinstein was only raping? <laughs> he was getting some on the on the books. Oh yeah. <laughs> you you got like when a girl moves to L.A. If she's hot, you got about two weeks to get her before she gets treated. You got to get her off the bus. You, you got to get her strict but right off. The problem is off the bus. She still got that family rape drama. You know, yeah. she hasn't like Minnesota. shaken that yet. And now with social media, they already moving to L.A. with sugar daddies. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you have it hooked up? It's like go moving to a town like a regular person not having a job lined up. Why would you do that? Yeah, get a dick. Rent a dick to go. Yeah. How was it trying to score in, in uh, I don't know, Phnom Penh, wherever you're from? Uh, where, where are you are from, for real? I spent three years in New York before the pandemic and then five years in Seattle before that. And where then, are you from, though? Where did you get raised? Seattle, mostly. Seattle. Yeah, but it wasn't really easy to get laid there. Women there they're are They're into of, black guys. They're like... No, really? Yeah, all them white chicks. They're liberals, and they they don't feel anything through their pussies. <laughs> <laughs> they just get angry. They're in their heads too That's much. Funny. Um, <laughs> I love whenever everyone's in LA, they're like, women here do whatever, and you, and you want to be like, no, 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 you just can't get laid. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every it's, everybody had a bit about how dating is hard in LA. It's not and hard. You're, like, yeah. no, you're 24. You have no money. <laughs> You got yeah. to, but, your expectations. But are also, too high, what huh? I can say about LA, bro, uh, when I moved to LA, bro, I never met so many women. They might not have been the best looking women. They were, but a lot of women, like I was taken care of, like until that before I got successful. Sugar, sugar mamas? mamas, bro. Yes, even my age, sugar mamas. They took care of you. Yes, credit cards, cars. Yeah. Why they figured you steal it anyway? I don't. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's I just, just a love language in LA. It like, is, I love man. you. Wait, how'd you find him? Just randomly, bro. Like, I remember. Did she pay for anything? Nah, hell no. Nah. She looked like she paid for something. Nah. She, <laughs> <laughs> she was over there trying to, she was over there uh, calculating the day. She was like, you make enough to where in eight months we can get a house. I'm like, Wait, I make enough to where in eight months we can get a house? How did you just change <laughs> tense from singular to plural? Yeah. In the middle of that sentence, you just changed from singular she changed, to plural. She was like, yeah, we can get a house. Because I said, yeah, I'm going to save up next year. So when you get a house, she said, no, you can do it in less than that. Wow, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not buying a house Woman. until Ari Shafir buys a house. Yeah, I went to Fahim's place. I was like, you got a house? Fahim on what? Than you. This place? You guys live way better than me. <laughs> I mean, I, we're renting. I live in New York, though. I rent, too, yeah. bro. New York. New York uh, is- but yeah, this is the, I think this is the first girl I've dated who didn't cake on me. That's the term? Cake. Like, yeah, cake. Take. Take no caking, caking cake. Cake. like that's that's like a, Wait, no caking. I mean like spending, giving you know credit card. Oh, she card. doesn't have her own card. She no, I'm saying this is the cook. first girl who didn't cake on me. She doesn't like, yeah. 
All the other girls caked on me. Like, is that they, a thing? I I've like, never. Hey, Hans, you have this where, where you like learn a new black term. And you just feel like, oh, I'm in the, I'm in the no. You ain't never heard that? I can't wait to use yeah. it. You ain't never yeah. heard that? Caking? I'm going to make my nah, white fam. friends. Nah, nah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fam. Yeah, but mostly, every, mostly, every other, mo- mostly every other girl like caked on me. Wait, bro. how'd you get that? How'd you look that up? Bro, I had, uh, bro, I had, uh, before I was dating her, I was dating this uh, African girl whose uh, parents... Uh, owned a hotel chain in Kenya, and bro, she gave me like probably like sixty bands. What sixty yeah. grand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she offered to buy me a fucking car and a house, and I was like, "What did nah. offer?" I, I, I should have been like, "Cause she I, bought me a house and a car." No, nah, I know I didn't <laughs> like her like that, and I knew that house yeah. would come. I, I know come that with, house would come with some bullshit. Come with the price. Yeah, I let her buy me that house. I might get killed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Usually, money goes from America to Africa, but you're hilarious. taking money out of yeah, Africa. I was doing I was doing a yeah. service for all the people that got scammed by those Nigerians. <laughs> yeah, who, you're the prince who won the Nigerian lottery. <laughs> yeah, you're the prince. <laughs> you got the Nigerian headdress. Hilarious. American um, wait, did you get them just to start paying for you? What is that? So, bro, um, basically what it is, dog, is you having a dream. You so the the oh, you just woke her up. The the key to having a sugar mama or a cake mama is finding a girl who likes you way more than you like than her. you like her. Way, way more. To where she's obsessed, wanna come to your house all the time want to do this and you start with shit small like she'll be like let's go do this and i'll be like oh i would but i ain't got no gas start small start small oh, well, I'll get some gas. yeah i'll get you some gas well what you need what, two gallons oh, yeah yeah fifty dollars you know and then like so the african chick i would be like oh i had money at this time i was starting to make money but she'd be like oh what you need? like i asked for something small and she sent like a thousand dollars i'm like oh this oh i got me one. Oh. Yeah, yeah yeah like i asked for something that maybe cost 150 she sent a thousand i'm like oh yeah, got a one. Got me one. Hell yeah! Damn, that's how you make love in capitalist society. Yeah, so so, so she, she sent like a thousand, and then it's like the big gave me a credit card, and I'm like, what the? She f-? gave you a credit card? Yeah, with a, like a limit on it. What is it? I don't know what the limit was. I was just swiping it unlimitedly, bro. Just what? I had put it. This at, was the prince. At one. At, yeah, at one point I had put it on. Uh, there was this. There's so everybody knows DoorDash and Uber Eats and and is there a rich people one? Yes, it's called Caviar. Caviar, I've heard of that. So it only delivers like high end restaurants, and I was they fly it in, right? No, no, they drive it in, but you get in a nice car and all. You know, like they deliver like Rue Chris, Boa, STK. So they only do that. Yeah, they only do shit like that. So, bro, I was ordered type shit like that every day. Boa takeout. (laughs) <laughs> forward to, it's like no it's an experience we're pricing this based on the experience and you're like i don't give a shit Bro, i was just, for i it. was just going hell yeah. damn people yeah. like you raise the price for everybody you're like it's expense accounts i don't even care yeah <laughs> yeah but you, the delta lounge costs so much i'm, I'm, like, a, I'm gonna write a book one day but, but but for real for real dog like there's enough not that great looking women with good jobs in la to where you don't got to work if y'all want to um, um, I mean, I mean, would they? Would he get that though? Yeah, yeah. I can <laughs> show, For real, I can show him how to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like you attract that because yeah. of your aura. <laughs> yeah, they assume you're not going to take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't get out the couch. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you see a, a, a man is like this, you know, and, and you'd be like, "Let me cut up your meat for you." Right, right, right. But if you see you or you or me, that no one is going to be like, "Let me cut up your meat for you." You exude. An air of I exude, you can't cut your. I exude <laughs> fuck nigga energy. Is that what y'all say? Yeah, you, you exude the air of a prince. You know, like I mean, do you, do you break out the backside though? I mean, do you like tear it up? Like, nah, not really, bro. Sam, you know. so what is it? You can lie, bro. They, they're they're by time by time they've got fed up with you. You've already gained Cash what in. you need to gain. So it's like, all right. But also, I guess they don't really care. Yeah. They're just like I mean, they got they got. They, it's kind of like men who cake on women that they barely sleep with. You know what I'm saying? Women. I love that term. Cake <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, the same thing, man. You got because like the realization of life is that most people want to be spenders, regardless of what you spend your money on. So I remember early on, bro. Like I grew up with some family members that you know were players, pimps, whatever. And um, one of my uncles told me he said if a girl has spent two thousand on a bag. She'll give you five hundred for some dick. True. Yeah. <laughs> What's what are you gonna remember more? Huh? What are you gonna remember longer? Yeah. Than the, exactly. The dick. The exactly. Dick. 
Women Take a naked love slap it. somebody. Remember that? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> you remember that? No. So I mean, if you get if you get that mentality, <laughs> you slap somebody. That's funny. As <laughs> if you get that mentality, though, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Then and learn to exploit it. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about free shit you guys have gotten. <laughs> what have you got? Tattoos, shoes, it's free from a yeah. chick. Oh, from girls? Oh, from anybody? Um. From anybody, tattoos from artists that are big fans. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, big fans. Dude, I always say this. The the, the, the casual fans who hook up young comics with small level free shit are the most important people in comedy. Yes, absolutely. uh, uh, Cable passwords, Netflix passwords, just like, yeah, you can use mine. Shit like that, where it's like. Recently, a guy, so he sent me, he sent a message to my website and I, my uh, producer just read it to me like a, a couple of days ago, but I didn't see it. And so he sent me a cameo. He didn't want a video. He just wanted me to sleep with his ex girlfriend for her birthday. Was, was she involved in this at all? Huh? I don't he know. Asking, He's like, winner over. What, what did, did he say? Like, if you do it, she'll be so happy and so will her pussy. So, it was some weird. His so, ex. Oh my his god. Ex. White people. That's how much. That's how much she loves me. He said. That's some cuck that's shit. He loves you. She Probably does. hit. Yeah. She does. She does. Have you ever he's fucked in, a chick while the boyfriend it. is like, yeah, whatever? I never would. No. I've done it twice. The boyfriend was there? Well, once it was this chick in San Diego who gave me general awards. Pretty positive. <laughs> um, Worth it or no? Was the pussy good? The pussy was great. And she made me hit her. She <sighs> kept going like harder. Harder. Oh it's one of those. And I had a few girls like that. She was like, fucking do it if you're going to fucking do it. Like in the face? Yeah. And at first I was like this. I was like, Whatever. And she was like, what are you even doing? <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't. I don't want to hit. She's like, fucking hit me. And I went like that. She's like, better. I'm just like. And then she call- was like, real. She's like, yeah. And then she called the cops <laughs> when you get up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we, it was one of those good fucks. You know when you have a good fuck? Yeah. You put in a fucking show. Yeah. And it was like an hour or something. Rick Ingram was waiting out in the fucking, in the lobby. Rick the, Ingram. That was the, the boyfriend? Or? No. <laughs> he was waiting in the lobby. Of the, it was the La Jolla condo. You ever been there? Of course. Yeah. And so he was just watching TV as it was fucking this chick in the, in the main bedroom. Uh, and then we got done. I was like, oh, is your boyfriend picking you up? Because it was at the bar after. It was like the, around the corner yeah, from, yeah. The, from the store. Over there by the 7-Eleven. Or whatever no, store that is. No, by the store. Oh, by Next the, the comedy store. The, the, the corner store is like right one block away. Yeah. And so she was like, yeah. Like, Hennessy's. Like, yeah. It's called yep. Hennessy's. Yep. Yeah. It used to be the place. And then there was a shooting. And then it became not the place. It was the best. You would pour out of there. Everybody go. And she'd be like, she was like, yeah, I, I want to hook up with you. She was the most annoying audience member too. Kept <laughs> making it about her and disrupting the show. But all was forgiven, you know. And then, um, <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, I'd like to fuck you. My boyfriend doesn't care. And I was like, look to him. And he was like, yeah, it's fine. She pays rent. <laughs> she pays rent. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. And then this other chick, remember this now? This other chick was like, "Don't do it, Ari." I'm like, what, "Who are you? What do you mean, don't do it? Why are you giving me advice?" Could have done with other. How advice. much? How much do you not have to give a fuck about your girlfriend and let her fuck somebody else? I think they're just open sexually. Where she was like, I, "It doesn't mean anything." Or California, you're stuck in a lease, and neither one of you can afford to move out. And well, that's you, if you're broken up. Yeah, but you're staying together. Oh, they're, they're still together. Yeah, and so then we were done. I was like, I was like, you can get home. You gotta. I think it was maybe pre Uber. And then she was like, Yeah, my boyfriend will get me. I'm like, See how far away he lives. She goes, No, he was at, he was at Denny's. Oh my so god! So she made him wait. She made him wait at <laughs> What's Denny's the conversation for like? an hour and a half. So how next was the, door dick? To the condo? Well, I'm just fucking destroying it. <laughs> yeah, what's the conversation on the way home? That's a good question, Hans. Like, how, how did was you have dick? fun? Yeah. Your face is red. Yeah. <laughs> Did he hit you harder than me? I think fucking audience members is dangerous. That's something I've never crossed over into, dog. Really? No. I'm waitresses. I don't like to hook up with waitresses, but mm. audi- why is audience members dangerous? I don't know, bro. I, it's just something about a girl that comes to see you and for a female to really be into comedy. I know she got some. I just be scared of that me too shit. Oh, always that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just be scared of that, dog. Yeah. I mean, with any girl, though. Not really a girl you dating. And I mean, you know, if a girl, you know, uh, you know, was uh, me too. So chasing you. Yeah. Because, I mean, that could have been, a, that could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She went, do you have proof? He said, he said, hit me. Right. Right. No. It, I mean, how much that'll cost you in court just to prove your innocence? Right. 
if you can. You gotta have True. a written record. Possible. Today's episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank Podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp.com. Guys, is your life in the dumps? Do you feel mentally just trash? Well, why don't you get some therapy, some online therapy from BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com is, uh, is just like regular therapy. It's not a crisis hotline. It's not a fucking crisis hotline. It's therapy. It's cheaper than, uh, you know, in-person therapy. It's easier. You don't have to get in your car, go down there. And if uh, you don't like your therapist, you can just find a new one. They hook you up with uh, someone who's right for you. Especially during the holidays coming up, you guys, for real. You need a little help. You need to get your happiness back. Maybe you've got anxiety. Maybe you've got just overall depression. I had depression bad. I wanted to kill myself for a long time. And therapy helped me. I didn't have enough money for it. And back then, there was no betterhelp.com. By the way, if you go to betterhelp.com slash Ari right now, you can get 10% off your first month. But there was no betterhelp.com. So I'd have my rich friend, Joe Rogan, uh, pay for a fucking high-level therapist that I couldn't afford. BetterHelp is cheaper. You can afford it. And right now, you can get 10% off that first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash Ari. Guys, get control of your life back. Get happy with BetterHelp. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Ari for that 10% uh, Jew bonus. All right, let's get back to the episode. That is possible. What about you? You ever had that happen? Uh, yeah, like a, a girl that like fucked me and like the boyfriend was nearby. Yeah. Uh, this girl came up to me and then uh, Patrick is like this, like, like he just says whatever. And he's Bleep like, the name hey, out. What? <laughs> Hans, you wanna, was, Hans, you was a real this, name. This girl wants to fuck your, you know, like he made it a big deal and then he got shy and then ran away. Wait, 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 wait. He said some girl wants to fuck you? But well, she was like talking to me and her boyfriend was there in the social group. And then uh, he was like, hey, look. Who, who's he? Pat, he's just, uh, he's just watching. Yeah. Unrelated guy. Not the boyfriend. Comedian, the... boyfriend, girl. And the comedian was like. The look. comedian's name was Patrick. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so he's. Okay, so. But and he then was he like, blew hey, it I'm up. reading the situation. Yeah. This and then later when she broke up with him, then I had sex with her. But not during. But she was hitting on me while she had a boyfriend. Scandalous. Yeah, yeah. Some hoes remember that scandalous. one chick you you brought to Skankfest? She was hitting on everybody too. I know. Yeah, Christy. I forgot about I her. her. Yeah, she was. Uh, I I get, gave her like a a band, like a a ticket, and I drove her there, and she was just like not gonna give me anything. Oh and She yeah. was just hitting on everyone. Nerd How long ago me. was that? A year plus. A year ago at Skankfest. But yeah, Did she ride back crazy. with you. Yeah, she I would have I would have told that bitch you out of your motherfucking mind. She was mind. a problem. Yeah, she's uh, she's mentally her. unwell. Where she live at? LA? Uh, she's <laughs> I don't great. know. She's around. She's traveling. Where's she right now? Bring her over here. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, I had a guy goes, "Yeah, my chick will uh, blow you," and I was like, "No, really?" And she was so hot. Um, in some midwestern city, I was like, "Really?" He goes, "Yeah, totally." I'm like, "Okay, sure, let's do that." And then we get up there, and she and I was like, "Let's have sex." She goes, "Okay," and then he got mad at her because like, I said blowjob. I didn't say sex. <laughs> but he was waiting in the car. Like, I'd rather my girl fuck somebody than suck their dick. Why is that interesting? Because sucking dick is intimate, bro. Sucking dick is intimate. But do you think she's gonna fuck somebody and not also suck a dick? I mean, you've never not you've never fucked a girl and didn't you have pussy. It doesn't have I, to go I, hand I in hand. Pussy, but I, I, I don't. No, maybe I fucked and not not. And not had my dick sucked a little bit. Yeah. Like it just. <laughs> sometimes you don't got time for that. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have time for it. That's true. <laughs> time is a time is a. <laughs> what else free have you gotten? Tats, shoes, T- hella, shoes. hella shoes. Didn't, it, didn't you fucking shame Danny Brown into giving you shoes? No, that was this nigga. <laughs> no, I saw you last time. I left Danny's thing, and I saw you there. Go, give me those shoes, Danny. You said pro- you would give me some shoes. I probably was joking with him. Hey, no, he goes, okay. He goes, yeah, you said last time. No, you that were- was a TV. Oh, a TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. when I first moved here, uh, something had happened with my shit being shipped and I ain't had no TV. And I asked Danny Brown, could I come stay at his house? Because it's hard for me to fall asleep with no TV. 
And he's like, man, I'll buy you a TV. Yeah, I, like, that's nothing. And I, yeah. and I was like, all right, well, let's go right after the show. Let's go get the TV. <laughs> call him on it. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, don't just say you'll do you're it. Right. Let's go do it. And so uh, he never bought the TV. And then the next time I, I saw him, he's like, nigga, I got plenty of TVs. I'll just give you one. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, want- you keep talking about it. <laughs> like, where's my TV? Where's girl? my TV? Yeah. So uh, I always fuck with him about I got a TV now. So uh, <laughs> we're good. But I always fuck with him about that. <laughs> That's funny. That's, That's funny. He's not a random audience member, though. He's not a random audience member. No, but anything free shit from anybody. Hey, wait, before let's get back into this. Before we go too far, let's say some dates. Where are you guys going to be starting yeah, late December? Late December. Nothing late December. January. I don't have anything in December. Jan- just go to my website, uh, Madcaps Comedy. I'm no, there. no, no, no. Not just go to my website. No one's going to do that. Just say where you are. And then if they're in Kansas City or whatever, then they'll, they'll find Google your it. site. Spokane, Spokane, Tacoma, Portland. Both in a row? Yeah, Portland, Spokane, Tacoma. It's the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> That's driving across and back again. Yeah. But you really can't fly out of Spokane. Love that club. Love both those clubs. Spokane, Tacoma? Yeah, Spokane, yeah. Tacoma. Yeah. If you really want a place to get, if you're into, you're into camping at all? Yeah. You are? Yeah. I got a fire lookout near Spokane. Ooh. Built up, nice, 180 degree deck. It takes an hour to hike up there to get to it. He'll take he'll ATV all your shit and your beer and whatever else you want. I left him half my mushrooms last time, so he's fucking chill. This guy, uh, he'll I just just ATV me up there. I don't need yeah. Know, I don't, yeah. don't want to hike it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and no one's around. It's on nine hundred acres. It's and butts up and against everybody see. else. You can see forever. You're oh up. You can God. see into Idaho and you can see into Washington. Nice. And, and me and uh, uh, Matt Edgar and uh, uh, Ryan. Where is Gilbert Matt Edgar? There. Um, I see him in a while. He's in fucking prison right now, waiting this fucking on these pedophile charges. He didn't do it, but he's got all these charges. Shut up. Yeah, Matt. And so Edgar? he's sitting there waiting for them to fucking clear it up. Are you being for real, Matt Edgar? What what's Matt Edgar the, from the comedy store? The store, yeah, yeah, the one who's from Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. he has a jilted ex lover, like some Matt Edgar, bullshit. Dan Madonia. Those were the guys. Tony Hinchcliffe, Willie Hunter. Those were the guys when I was an open micer trying to be seen at the comedy store. Yeah. Those were the it guys, at employees, right? The it yeah. employees at the comedy store, like 2009, 2010, when I first moved to LA. You know what I'm saying? Those were 11, 12. How did he get caught for pedophilia, or how did he get char- accused? This kid, he was like, I think he was fucking a boy, like a seven-year-old. But oh, then, he's gay. Yeah, and the kid was like, I didn't, I was, I didn't sign up for that or something. I don't uh, know kids are like that. Kids will be, kids do yeah. be like that. They're little sluts. Yeah, um, he'll get out though. You can't trust a kid. Um, <laughs> where else? Where else you got? Spokane to go. That's a good one. Uh, I'll tell you. Wise about guys. That. Salt Lake City. Ooh, Salt Lake yeah. City. And I'll be Vegas. there in January. Yeah. Oh, in Vegas, you're gonna be the one. Yeah, yeah I'm at Wise Guys in March. Which one? Wise guys in Vegas in March, Vegas. Uh, February second, San Jose at the okay, Improv. Okay. Let's go over how to do dates. How we do it? First, you say the city. Okay. Because you go February. Here's what happens to the human mind. You go February second. Um, where is it? San Jose. San Jose. Um, uh, at the club. They hear February second. You don't even hear it. Your mind doesn't even go to it. Right. Too much information. And then they go San Jose. Like, oh, I'm interested now. Right. And then where's it going to be? The club. Oh, when is it? You, you already heard it, but it didn't go in. Right. So you say city first, then the date, then the club. Get or them with the city emotional first. Yeah, get city. Hi, I'm, I'm going to be in Kansas I City. I love cities. I'm yeah. in Pittsburgh. I'm right? in San Jose. In January, yeah. Where? Yeah. The improv. San gotcha. Jose. Gotcha. Yeah. See, and that's what, this is why I love. Fucking your girlfriend. E- even though, you know, people got shit to say about Ari, he chill with me. I ain't got what? shit to say what about him. What was I going to say about him? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'd be, 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 be hearing shit, man, on black Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Black Ari's Twitter's not, not like visibly yeah. nice. He doesn't look nice, but he like he's nice in what he Bro, does. Bro, me and Ari have had some great conversations with no cameras or in front of nobody, so I know his heart is pure. Marissa, cut that Very out. Very pure. I need you to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> you to pull. I need you to cut that out. <laughs> you can't. You can't get that. Yeah. Can't, can't get no love from a black guy. <laughs> the dog uh, whimpering. Yeah, you think What's Han, he doing? He think Han's about to cook him. She's right with you. What she, is she whimpering? What's she whimpering for? She wants to what? Go in Brian Simpson's room. Oh. She's trying to get in. <laughs> That's why she wants to go to the door. <laughs> nah. Bandit, sorry, buddy. Touch you want to go to the bathroom. You're good. Yeah. Um, as soon as she does, she doesn't bark. She just fucking acts like an annoying Jewish child. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, so do you consider what you just dropped on YouTube a special? 
Do I consider what I did on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. What was that a special? Remember we were talking about that earlier. It was the most special. Okay. It was. It was good. It was good. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Joe said that you were like gonna record it, and then like you've been working on it for like years. Five years. Yeah. Five and a half. Yeah. Why so long? Why wouldn't you think it'd be a special? Not, I'm not uh, that's, I said it in the wrong tone. Like, what, why would you think it wouldn't be a special? Because of that conversation we had before the cameras were rolling about, you know, some people are like, this is my hour. This is my 30 minutes. Yeah. Not naming it a special. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that one's for sure a special. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that was a five year project. Gotcha, with, gotcha. From a 20 year comic. I didn't know, the, I didn't know the, the, the background behind it. Yeah. No, there's clips I wouldn't put, even if I did like a, a, an hour riffing set, I'm like, that's not a special. Right, right, right. That's a, yeah, that's a long nice clip or you know right. clip it up and yeah it gets way more views than any special on comedy central ever got probably yeah. youtube is the way bro until until netflix is offering until you're in a position to where netflix is offering you 10 million yeah. when people actually give a fuck youtube is the way yeah it's, netflix it's, had a short like peak where everyone was on netflix and now 20, like 10 11 12 until 2019 let's say and then the pandemic too helped but even the pandemic, they went so checkboxy, not just for like woke shit, but for like celebrities. Mostly it was a celebrity problem. And they didn't tell yeah. any celebrity like, hey, this isn't good enough. You got to keep working on this. <laughs> the quality just wasn't your good. Name, yeah, just because your name is big. You didn't work at this at all. So many celebrities put out such garbage, unprepared specials. We're like, I toured for a month. And you're like, what's that dude that gave a special where he was just like doing music in his house during the pandemic? That oh, was Burnham. amazing. You like that? It was the best thing the I've dude. ever seen. Inside by Bo Burnham. Inside Bo Burnham. I was sad. It just wasn't a stand-up special. I was sad. Yeah. What? It was kind of depressing. Yeah, I, I couldn't watch the whole thing. Oh, yeah, but, it just <laughs> but wasn't there were some great special. moments in it. There were so it. many good things in there. It made you sad? Why? The music just... <laughs> the yeah, dude yeah. was clearly losing his yeah, mind. Say. It might have been great, but when yeah. shit's like that, it put me into a, a dark place. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, I got to turn this shit off. I get like that with some movies. Revolutionary Road. I went into depression for like two years after that. Oh, yeah, the, like, suburban doldrums. Yeah. Ugh, it's just, like, some of these are, like, fuck. That's when people, like, when they get mad at a joke, like, I didn't like the way it made me feel. I'm like, so? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you Life is trauma. Yeah. <laughs> some of these movies are a mess. Shit, was right. another, like, right. that made me feel, but it's still a good movie. Yeah. Don't want Big don't facts. Um, so, did you do your dates? Do I do what? All your dates? Nah, nah, nah. So let me let me practice it the Ari Let's way. Practice it. <laughs> All right. So San Jose, I'm Hell there. Yeah. I'm there February the second at the Improv, All Irvine, California, April fifth at the Improv. Mexicans, Ontario, California, April the sixth. I know 6th that's the Mexicans at the Ontario Improv, Oxnard, California. Hey, Whitney, come and shit it on y'all. I'll never shit on y'all. Uh, I'm we there April you. the ninth at the Improv, Naples, Florida. I'm there April the t- April the twelfth and the thirteenth at Off the Hook Comedy Club, and we just it's not on my is that website. The one on the island, huh? Is that the one on the island? No, nah. nah. that's the one where the owner makes you call him Captain Brian. Captain Brian, that's Captain <laughs> Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never went to that. Christina Brzezinski was like, "It's it's a vacation. It's a paid vacation. It's a vacation." And then she goes, "It's not worth it." And that's when we were like, "Really?" Hoping to make twelve hundred a week, and she goes, "It's not worth a vacation." You don't think it's so? probably in a new location. She goes, "It was now. a really bad room." Oh. Yeah, it's like in the middle of a bar. It feels like a TGI Friday. Yeah, yeah, it feels like you're in a bingo hall a little bit. But I, I had fun when I was there. Yeah, I, had fun. I did it last year. There's good crowds there. I sold it out last oh, year. Maybe it changed. Bunch of Floridians. Mm-hmm. They Rich did have a good time. I mean, I'm also a, a black. I'm also, I'm also a black Republican, so they feel every word I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She just says it wasn't set up. It was just such a shitty show. It was just like not full. And then it was like the best was that they put you up in this great place, but then a hurricane destroyed that place, and they put you up in a shittier place. And then she was like, "There's no point." The people that oh, and also me, Hans, and William, we have an unfair disadvantage. Disadvantage. That, yeah, I'd say it's a disadvantage in most comedians. What? Well, I mean, That's excuse me, an unfair advantage. Living in yeah. the, uh, advantage. An That's unfair it. advantage being on Kill Tony because so many people watch Kill Tony when we go to these cities and, you know, uh, him opening for Rogan and me being, you know, uh, friends with Rogan and people hear us on the podcast and saw him on the podcast. Yeah. Everybody opens their doors everywhere we go. Like, bro, 
I took my girl with me last year when I was in Naples, dog. Yeah. Restaurant owner bought us a bottle, fed us. Damn. Gave that's a, what I'm talking about. Free shit. Yeah. Gave yeah. us shit that wasn't even on the menu. And she's like, that's the best food I've ever had in my life. Dog, yeah. just cooking for it. Me and Rogan had that. Went to Joe Beef in Montreal. And they're like, we'll just bring you food. And we're like, okay. And they just bring you food. Yeah. And that's yeah. not even when you're not even with Rogan. That's the Rogan. That's a different thing. But yeah, like, when you're rolling, I'm you, a you, regular guy yeah, hookups. Yeah. yeah, that's the most necessary. Like everyone gives free stuff to rich people because they love them so much, but they're the ones that need it the they least. They need it the least. Every time at the comedy store, we're like, oh, you know who that is? We gotta let him for free. I'm like, let him pay. <laughs> Derek Jeter can fucking pay you. <laughs> <laughs> right. He has the money. I heard Derek Jeter walked around New York and he didn't even have his wallet with him. He probably he don't was have like, don't, don't need it. Don't need money. Don't need ID. Just walk in anywhere. Like, can I get a table? Can I just get stuff? They'll just yeah. bring it to him. No, I, I really, I really, I sometimes sit around and ponder like when I was broke and didn't have nothing, I didn't yeah. receive anything. But now that I'm in a place to actually buy some of the things I want, I yeah. get it. For, like, but I get it. It's promotion. I did. I got people gave me whoever Zenman is, Zenman 13 at some website. I still have his password for fucking Comcast. <laughs> like, whatever it goes, you got to redo it. I'm like, oh, maybe, this, maybe it's still somehow on my computer. <laughs> Um, that's yeah, and that's like guy that kept shit kept me going. I couldn't afford cable. Yeah, I got I got so many logins on my TV, and my girl's like, "Who are these people?" I'm like, "Why are you worried about? It? We watching it for free." <laughs> yeah, we got HBO. Max yeah, why are you worried for, about it? Uh, right. We communism. got we, we got HBO Max. We got Peacock, Netflix. I, I started a campaign giving nugs to a door guy, uh, and it was just like, don't you know? Did you ever come through the comedy store when I was a door guy? I had a short tenure there. I was there from uh, October 2019 into the pandemic. October 2019? Yeah. Possibly, but I was on the road a lot right yeah, now. I don't think I saw you there. Yeah. <clears throat> I was getting ready for a special that didn't happen. Mm. <laughs> Some, uh, uh, did, you never came through the comedy store during that period either. I did. Did we ever have run-ins with each other? Yeah, I saw you at the door. All right. You wouldn't let him in. You said he was too young. <laughs> nah, bro. Like, <laughs> so you're not a comedian. Pe 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 people don't, your act, you're not allowed in. People don't understand <laughs> the stress at that door, bro. Like working the door, like the front patio, bro. Yeah. Like, my mom could walk through and I'd be like, all right, where your ID? You know, it's just like you become yeah. a robot because you're seeing 1,200 so people at like, night. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even look. I wouldn't even match it up to your face. I would look <laughs> at the year. Good. Here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Somebody know, accused me of racism. Sorry. What were you going to say? No, I was about to say, man, it became a point uh, at the comedy. So, like, uh, and I'll get to the second part later. It became a point at the comedy store. Uh, like, I, I guess I was hassling too many people to where the, Curtis was like, hey, if they look like. You know they're thirty or something like you know just you kind of let them. Let them in. Yeah, and be so, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I remember it'd be people that'd be like, I well, I, I guess they look thirty. I'm like, they be like, I don't have an ID. I'm like, hey, just flash a credit card in front of my face. Let so me see your titties. It, so I don't get in trouble. So I don't get in trouble. So if the camera sees it, it looks like you showed me an ID, dog. And then, yeah, you could show me someone like you could show me an, an old Asian woman's, and I'm like, what's that year? 1927. Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> no, at, at the comedy store, I had a run in with uh, Andrew Santino and uh, Anthony Jeselnik. Both pedophiles. <laughs> I, 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 Wait, I, is Matt Edgar really a pedophile? No, that's not. But uh, also with 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 <laughs> uh, so guilty, he's not. With Andrew Santino, I remember I, he was coming through the main room, the the patio, and I was like, let me see your ID, bro. He's like, I, no, no. I was like, dog, I, like, I didn't know who Andrew Santino was at the yeah. time. Like, you know, I, so like, I, I, gotta check her I came from urban comedy, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah. know how fucking Andrew You can't Santino. even, really, black people can't even, like, visual cortex, can't even see redheads. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, bro, I need your ID. I'm like, I need your ID. He's like, come on, man. And I'm like, what? Like, he he never would say, I'm a comedian. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, why are you hassling me? Why? It's like, bro, give me your fucking, or just say I'm a fucking comic. I'm a comic here. Like, don't, like, don't, like, don't give me yeah, a hard he time. He wants to get in with the least amount of extra shit possible. And then Anthony Jeselnik, I pressured him when I was working the back door. Because I know Anthony Jeselnik, but I didn't know this new Anthony Jeselnik who's trying to be a sex symbol with the beard and the swap. You know, like the old Anthony Jeselnik was barefaced. You know what I mean? The new Anthony Jeselnik is wearing sexy clothes with a full beard and hair done. And I'm like, bro, I said, where the fuck are you? Because he just casually strolled behind me. And yeah. you know, that back door going into the hallway is a stressful position. Yeah, because that's where everybody talks and ruins yeah, the show. Yeah, everybody. So you, you got to go out and somebody's like, no, I'm a comic here. I'm like, well, comic here, you're ruining the show. Right. You got to go out. You're going to get yelled at yep, you're above yep. you. And and people are are asking stupid questions. If I go out and smoke a cigarette, can I come back in? No, nah, bitch, you can't. Give me twenty dollars. Like, you know, it, it, so, <laughs> so he casually strolled past me and it's one of those busy nights. 
I'm like, I'm like, where are you going? Or I, I was like, do you know where you're going? Do you, right. Are you going to the ballet room? Do you know where it right. is? Don't I, go to the wrong room. Right. Yeah. I said, do you know where you're going? That's all I said. Like, you thought it was a customer. I thought it was a customer. Yeah. And he said, I always all know. white people look. He said, I always know where I'm going. I said, bro, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> like, like, tell me something. Don't, like, I'm trying to do a job. Yeah, always. Know. That <laughs> all, sounds yeah. like one of his jokes. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, we but we got good after that. Me and Santino, I don't know. I guess we're good. I don't know. No, I talked to him. He, doesn't, he thinks you're a pedophile. <laughs> I don't think um, Santino knows me, and and I, that's I cool. yeah. I mean, I mean it's hard because if you let people in too easily, then so this, horrible things. Yeah, this is what I had. So I was working the back door, and that's when we had a main room, a belly room, and, our, and an OR. We were kicking, doing well, but not as well as like when I was there. Yeah, yeah, that well, was two thousand people a night. Yeah. yeah. But it was just like you could get in easily, go to the wrong room. So mm-hmm. they had a, a backdoor guy there. They had a they had a main room backdoor guy who would just say, like, where are you going? You shouldn't be in here. You, you can't go in this way. Because also they had their own bathrooms. So Be- like, this no is before the cameras, right? Oh, yeah, before yeah. the cameras. So anyway, I was working in the back and right when well, the phones aren't there, where the bathrooms are. Mm-hmm. And somebody's like, uh, walks past me and he go, I'm like, uh, do you know which room you're going into? Uh, and he goes, yeah, I'm going to the main room. I was like, okay. He goes, I just walked right past you. And I was like, okay. He goes, I said I'm going out to smoke. And I was like, yeah, yeah, fine, go ahead. I was like, no, no, man. I walked past you. I said I'm going out to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing, not realizing, like, I don't look you right. in the face. I'm autistic. <laughs> you know, but he's like, he's like, I mean, I said something to you and I walked back. I was like, are you saying I'm racist? Are you saying I can't tell people apart? Right. And he goes, no. I'm like, then go in the fucking main room. <laughs> I was so fucking squid it. No, they get so sensitive. Like, if you don't, yeah. I'm letting you in. I'm not stopping you. Yes. It's like, bitch, You're I getting see. getting what you want. I see 1,500 people at night because I don't You're remember. You're not you. special to exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm special to you. I don't remember you going to smoke a cigarette and, and now you're mad at me because I. This is your yeah. first cigarette. <laughs> this is my 30th person who went to second cigarette. <laughs> and not just tonight. Yeah, they want special treatment. They're like, honor my humanity. Uh, be, have empathy. It's like, <laughs> you're, I you're can't. You're a customer. Can you, <laughs> can, can you agree that the Monday night back door was the worst because you're on Monday close night. to 3 a.m. and you got to do the fucking sign. Wait, Monday night is that Black Night? No, no Tuesday's Mo- Black Night. Monday night is Don Bear is not Don's. finishing to 3:15 a.m. for Ding Dong Show. Yeah, and then remember it came downstairs to the original room. Were they doing that then? So they do it to- up. They do it up in the belly room, and then he bring all them the, up. The sign was the bad was on Friday and Saturday nights because drunks would come by and do jokes like oh, who would do it? It's like it's not funny. You're not the first one to do it. Don't include me in your dumb jokes. It's already rickety. Right. <laughs> that was nobody has ever fell off that fucking ladder. I'm surprised, dog. I've been so close. I just paid people like 30 bucks. To, I'm like, bro, I'm not getting on that shit. Go do that shit, though. That's when I realized what wealth was. Because Dice was like, I think he told me, he was like, you'll be rich. You'll be $25 rich when you can say, I don't want to do this for $25. You know? Like, no matter what, I'm not doing it. But he goes, but you're not $25 rich. So <laughs> you have to go do it. Because <laughs> you can't afford to give up that 25 bucks. Who, who were door guys with you then? What? Who were the door, some of the door guys with you? Me, Renazizi. Oh, wow. Uh, Jordy Fox. I know Jordy Fox. Yeah, he was just getting gone. Uh, who else was Jordy? Was Caparulo, um, Aaron Cater, a little bit. Who else was there? I'm missing. Oh, David Taylor, Nick Yusuf, Danish and O'Neill later, but probably overlapped. I'm when, I, overlap with when, when I was there, that was kind of the last of the hiring by what I called the dream team at the comedy store. Who was the dream team? The dream team was Adam Egget, Curtis Nelson. Damn. Uh, uh, fucking Richie. Richie's still there, but I'm saying the Richie's dream. still there. The dream team, like Curtis and yeah. Adam together, there's a reason they're in Austin now. You know what I'm saying? And That's Eric. interesting because Richie, of the three of them, were the only ones, was the only one who didn't uh, fuck children. <laughs> yeah, two, I'm, I'm on this fucking kick today. Brian's <laughs> <laughs> podcast, too. Um, that's funny because I remember Kevin Chrissy getting passed, and he was like one of the last ones to get passed by Mitzi. And he was like, no, oh, that's big. I want to get passed by this lady and not the fucking. Right. Dream team. <laughs> but after Some Mitzi, it was uh, Duncan, Tommy. right? No, Duncan was before. Oh, Mi- Duncan worked for. Tom- Bro, a lot of people said Tommy was racist. So I took like a two and a half year hiatus away from comedy when I had my first kid. But prior to you me having. kid? Yeah, I got two. But prior to me having. What? He's black. Yeah, I'm black, but I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> but prior to me having my kid, like Tommy was giving me spots. You know who was saying he was racist? People who weren't getting spots. Right. Owen Smith never said that. Ian Edwards exactly. never said that. 
It was the guys who weren't getting spots. Were you heard about what happened at the comedy show with Josh Martin? What happened? Le- him and Leslie Jones fought. What happened? That's him, all I. Josh Martin fought with Leslie. Jones. I think Leslie Jones kind of just punched him. Leslie Jones punched <clears throat> an employee of the comedy store in the in the face because uh, uh, allegedly was that would you say so you'll get sued? Yeah. Uh, Leslie had been bumping people. And uh, Jessel Nick was like, "Never like a bump." Yeah. So Jessel Nick said, "What?" Jessel Nick was like, "I ain't going for that." Like uh, Jessel Nick's bigger than her. Yeah. He does bigger rooms than her. Exactly. So I uh, love the idea that like I'm allowed to bump, so I will. That bumping shit started in a day at the comedy store when there were two celebrities. Right. <laughs> it was Dice and Eddie Griffin, and that was it. And occasionally Paul Rodriguez would come in, or you know whatever. And it was like okay, but like that was it. And, and and then Mencia would do it, and, and then more and more people do it. But like you're now, you're if you bump now, you're bumping people who sh- who would have been able to bump back then. Right, <laughs> right. The lineup is just full of hitters. If it goes Ron White, Rogan, who never bumped even when he could, even when he was on Fear Factor, he was like, no, I'll call in. And so people were like, I want to bump. Like, no, I'd bump if I could, and I'm calling in. So no, you can't bump a guy who could right. bump. So Jess yeah. and Nick wasn't having it, and I guess a few other people were, you know. I was waiting for that to happen. People were like, what? Why are we so far behind? Yeah, a few other people were, I, I guess. I don't think anyone should ever bump. Complain, and uh, allegedly what I heard, but you know, the game of telephone. Allegedly. Is uh, is <laughs> is Josh Martin told her, you don't belong here. You know, he got the list. Nobody likes her. That's the bad part about it. Nobody likes what? Josh Martin. Yeah, and he got the list. He's like, you don't belong here. And I you guess she, I guess she fired off on his ass. She punched him. That's what I heard. That's what you heard. Yeah. And then, and then what happened after that? Uh, he got fired. Oh. Uh, someone punched an employee, and then they fired the employee. Well, he quit. He quit. I don't know how it went. I Fuck this. Yeah. I'm out of here. You know Josh Martin. Yeah, I, I, he was on Kill Tony. Such an asshole, bro. I don't know why he's like that. Thing is, nobody will defend an asshole. When, no. when, when a really nice person is accused of joke stealing or something like that, everyone's like, "Oh, come on, it's, it's, you Give know." Another chance. Only person, only person who fucks with uh, uh, Josh Martin heavy is Pauly Shore. He, I like Josh. You don't take him on the road with you. I like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the off stage. If you say you, I like, I like your girlfriend. I don't take her on the road. With me. I'm saying, you, you, if you tell me you like me, invite me on the road, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Have me <laughs> on your what podcast. is the point of being like that's that that that, 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 pro- into anything. that proves a point. Like if if I say I like you and I have the means to like, no no, that's a different thing. You like the person as a person versus like I, I, I've never even seen him on stage. Yeah, but Ari, how, you never saw me on stage. Open for you. I've seen you on stage. 60 seconds at a time. That doesn't. No. That doesn't. I've seen you more than that. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Not maybe. But I'm saying, in order for me to bring, you could be a horrible comic. And if I like you as a person, I'll bring you on the road. I won't. I have a the fucking, I care about my shows. I mean, I care about my show. You need to be oh, a certain level track. of comic. A certain level of comic. Let me yeah. not say a horrible comic. But you at least need to be decent. No, if but if you if you say, hey, you're playing my hometown of, uh, you know, whatever, the penitentiary. And, um, <laughs> and um, Kennesaw State. Yeah. <laughs> and I noticed you're going to be there. That's where I'm from. Would you mind if I open for you? I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. If I'm playing your hometown, like you're going to do a good show in front of your parents? Yeah, sure. If you're a decent comic, you might not be the person I bring. What I like to bring is headliners who fell through the cracks. Mm. But, mm. but those are hard, yeah. hard to find. Sometimes, yeah, especially because nowadays. Yeah, with podcasts and shit, yeah. headliners can make. I got I'm, Joe List a couple times. I got Becky on a couple times. Adrian Apolucci, a bunch. But, you know, they're all like, they've all moved on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, 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 it, all it takes is one good podcast to, to to turn you over, you know what I'm saying? That's all it takes. Let's talk about more free shit. <laughs> By the way, don't forget Pittsburgh, Salt Lake, Denver. Do you get San bad Jose. altitude sickness? No, but I get winded coming up steps, which I assume is what it's like. So to that's be not the, the that's <laughs> That's not the worst part about it for me. You when get I, sickness? I In get Denver? Denver didn't do me as bad as Salt Lake City. I had like five nosebleeds in Salt Lake. Because the air is so... I don't do cocaine. It's dry. But it felt like I did cocaine. My nasal Nose passages juice. were on fire. Yeah. Sounds like they're on fire now. Um, Vancouver, Seattle. Wait. More free shit. What else do we got free? One time, I got one. I'm on the stage at the comedy store. Fucking with Don Barris. We fucking around. We fuck around all the time. And... um. I pull my dick out all the time. My balls, especially balls out of, out of the fucking zipper. Yeah. Uh, the Jew balls, we call them. We put them like on the mic stand. We race them up the mic stand. <laughs> like two snails racing up. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, anyway, some guy who was there all the time, um, some magazine mogul. He owned like eight, ten magazines, something yeah. like that. He was just rich. You know how sometimes a rich guy will just hang out there for like yeah. a month? Yeah. They just love the conversation. Yeah. They just come all the time. Yep. This was that guy. Something porn stars will do the same thing or, or hookers. T.I. used to do it. T.I., yeah. Um, and he just, uh, he was just like, Tom was like, take your balls out. I was like, no, Don knew I'd take him out. This guy knew. And uh, somebody's like, uh, Dom's like, will anybody pay him? And then some guys are like, give him 30 cents. And I'm like, all right, 30 cents, that's not enough. And this, uh, this, this magazine guy, who knows I'm going to take it out anyway? He goes, I'll give you $1,000 if you take it out. And we were all fucking stopped. <laughs> we're like, okay. I would have <laughs> took my dick out. Yeah. <laughs> not just the balls. You would have got the whole show, buddy. But then he <laughs> did it. But it was free shit. And Dom's like, I was like, do you need? Do you want some of this for setting up? He goes, no, 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 no. I got a job. You fucking take it. He got that Jimmy Kimmel money. He got that Jimmy Kimmel money. So that was big. That I paid my rent. That whole month paid my rent for that. How much was your rent? Nine fifty. In LA? Back then, yeah, right really? next to the comic store, that big hole in the ground. That was my place. Where? I mean next to Pink Dot. Oh, okay. What? oh, that building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year was that? Probably two thousand four. Oh yeah. Oh my god. What about you? What free shit? Uh that? during the pandemic, some woman in Germany gave me five hundred dollars of Amazon credit. For nice. what? Just like you from just, Tony? Yeah, no, before that. It's just like, she, I think she saw me online or saw me in Seattle or something. She said, here's 500 bucks? Yeah. That's great. I know, I still haven't paid her back. I just, oh, she was alone? She was in Germany. She just like sent it to me. Wait, wait, wait. What do you pay her back? How are you going to pay her back? Just <laughs> Venmo her some money. Wait, it's, uh, it was a loan or a gift? It was a gift. No, you don't pay her back. <laughs> well, gone. I got to say thanks. I haven't even yeah, messaged say her thanks. Yet. Yeah. But yeah, she was like, uh, here's some money. And I had to check my email. It's like went to my spam and she like messaged me. I was like, I don't almost didn't see it. I was like, oh, this is spam. But I was like, oh, shit. She, some woman actually sent me money. I, this never happened before. Damn, that's nice. By the way, I'm still uh, well over $100,000 in debt for my special. If you want to kick in some fucking. Really? Do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For YouTube, do you get some money from YouTube, from YouTube? views? But, it's but so the views low. won't the views won't views equal up so to a hundred thousand. Even on four million, five million by now, you had to get a billion to make a hundred thousand. Yeah. You had to put like a, it's like when Segura and all those guys put out like like a video with a million hits every single week. That shit adds up. Yeah, yeah. I'm at five million. It's probably like thirty grand, forty grand. Did you use and really then, nice cameras or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had to pay a church service to get lost on the Sunday. <laughs> so I could have the venue wow. on Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, please, guys. What you make? You'll make it back on the road. <laughs> yeah. Make it back on the road. I want to make it back now on the road. I want to make the road the road. I gotta pay these guys two fifty. Kick in. <laughs> give me a dollar. People are like is I'm there... too broke. Every time somebody comments like I would love to chip in, but I'm too broke right now. I'm like, and I just write back, give me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> You're not too broke to give me. I give you an hour and a half of time. Like, give me one dollar. <laughs> right on YouTube. Just hit the thing. Yeah. Says that yeah. it's one dollar. Like you five got five million hits, and I can't. I should have five million dollars. That's what I'm, bro. Like, okay, if I release a special, release it on YouTube for ninety nine cent. There's something about a paywall that some people do not don't like. Because I'm saying, all right, watch it first. Don't take a chance. And then what do you think it's worth? You have to give Best something. Best special of the year. What do you think it's worth? A dollar? You can't even give me a... <laughs> no don't commercials. Do the, 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 the pressure might kill you. Your pressure might kill you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> pressure to give you that 250 <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about more free shit. What are we up to here? I love free shit. Yeah, what else have you gotten? 50 minutes. Not I got minutes. a Flow Grappling subscription during the uh, ADCC. What does that mean? The jiu-jitsu competition no, with what Gordon. What would you get? I got a, I could watch the events live, That's which nice. is like great because it's a small thing. It's not online anywhere. So it's nice. like, yeah, the, like plus the Kill Tony fans and Joe Rogan fans. We have yeah. similar interests. So yeah, that was, a, that was a big one. Eddie Bravo let me train free for like three years. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Which is over 20 classes. <laughs> I was one of the committed. best in the world. <laughs> yeah. was, he said I was not that committed. <laughs> staff affection staff and shit. Uh, and ringworm. Yeah, I was had a spider by the bat. I was limping, I was playing pool with Rogan. He's like, What are you limping? I was like, I bit by a spider. It's like spider bites don't make you limp. <laughs> what I was, was like, it? I was like staff. he's like, show it to me. He was on like my thigh. I think he probably just wanted to see my dick, to be honest. Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, because he went and went down to my thigh. He paused. You could tell he paused. <laughs> <laughs> and then he grabbed it. Yeah. 
And he was like, that's not a spider bite, you fucking idiot. That's staph infection. And it's bad. And it's bad. How long have you had that? Like, <laughs> like a month? He goes, a month spider bite? Dude, you got to go to the hospital like tonight. Yeah, and I'm like, that well, shit's I definitely crazy. can't afford that. But <laughs> I yeah. will go daytime when insurance will pay for it. Because <laughs> you're a comedian and you hate yourself. Yeah. Um, How long did it take to get rid of once you got antibiotics? Antibiotics went away pretty fast within a week. Free antibiotics. That's I think so I had funny. no insurance. So you had to go to the free clinic. That's why at night they're like, they're gonna make you pay. They gotcha. say, like, if you don't have healthcare, you're fucked. I've never found that to be true. Antibiotics were like 10 bucks. Hmm. Yeah, it there's always like ways around. Like, the yeah. hospitals have like amnesty programs. Dead beats. Yeah, you can just yeah. sign up. And it's more expensive that way because, like, we, it's officially like the hospital has to foot the bill or whatever. Fuck them. They, they lose a lot of people. They're not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got for free? Let's keep talking on a fucking oh, China thing. Cl- clothes, shoes. Clothes is nice. Dice used to bring in all his clothes and go go nuts. That was nice. Shoes. What size shoe do you wear? 12. That's hard. Right? I would love that. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard, that's a hard that's, size. size. I'm 10 and a half. Damn. What I size got you a couple have? Danny Brown Leather shoes. Danny Brown oh, gave Danny me Brown, shoes. You know Danny Brown shoes are cool shoes. They're amazing. <laughs> you wear 10 and a half? Yeah. Or you try to squeeze into an eleven? Uh, they're uh, t- they're tens or something. Ball games, you get ball games sometimes. That's a free. That's a freebie. People give you tickets. Mm. We had a fan take me and Nick Yusuf to a uh, um, San Francisco Giants game in San Francisco. This DraftKings guy just gave me tickets to a Yankee playoff game. <laughs> He's like, I'm a fan if you want. And I was like, he was like, any New York sports. And I was like, playoff? Damn. And he goes, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a few uh, NBA people that follow me. Uh, Israel Adesanya follows me. Israel Adesanya. What yeah. did he get you? Free nothing. I don't ask for nothing, bro. What? Defense classes. What can he give you? Whatever he come to the States. I'm be like, hey, hit me up. Let's get lunch. Let's get lunch on you. <laughs> gotta be. Gotta be on you. <laughs> gotta be, dog. Yeah. He, he's uh, bought he, like a like, high. Also, he can watch you eat and live vicariously through your carbs. <laughs> he can't have carbs, that guy. <laughs> nah. Nah, he can't. Me, we all ate with a fighter once. I forget who it was. And he was like in camp. And he was like, can I have one French fry? I'm like, okay. And he fucking milked it. And ate it down. <laughs> yeah. It was just one cheek. Well, he was like, eating, like eating all meat? Meat and vegetables. And just had to like, oh my God. It was like so sad. Like that doesn't seem like a fun life. Yeah. What could Israel Adesanya give you? Couldn't give you a free trip to New Zealand. If you, uh, if you were could. someone who worked at the airlines, he could. But he can't. <laughs> He could beat someone up for you for free. Beat someone up for you for free. That could be good. He might go to jail, though. For what? Beating someone up. His, I'm sure his hands are considered weapons. I don't know if if you have any. that much of an advantage. Do they have, like, a law for that? I think that's a movie term. Yeah. Yeah. Your hands the are 90s. considered, because like, it's like they're registered weapons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What else free have we gotten? Food. Food. Dinners. Food. Dinners. Food. What? Yeah. Dinners. Who gives you dinners? Just being an association, you know, like I just told you about the dinner I got in Naples. And just it's food? Like we like, yeah, we like doing <clears throat> this, yeah. It's food you would never buy yourself, too. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're a broke comic, it's like high quality food. And yeah. not only does it fill you up so you don't have to spend like 10 bucks, it's like enriches you, too. Yeah, it's, it is high quality. And they put it in with care or something like, hey, so even now I can afford food now. Mm-hmm. But I was eating with Adrian in I don't know where St. Louis, maybe somewhere like that. And some guy, and we're eating, and some guy's like, oh my God, hey, the chef, the staff, we saw you. And I was like, okay, oh, that's nice. Took a picture, and they left. And I, I just turned around, I was like, where's that free food, though? <laughs> that hookup. And then they came out with just some wings or something. Um, I was like, good enough. I want that freebie. Right, yeah. right. I love that freebie. It tastes so good. It tastes it's so like, good. Your comedy gave it to you. You didn't have Instead to work. Directly. You didn't have to work. Yeah, it's just free bonus energy. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. Bonus energy that would give you cake house. <laughs> HP. Free, free flights. Where'd you get free flights? The clubs that book us to go the to. clubs, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah but that's the job, though. It's like, Here's a little known thing. You guys will get into this soon. When you go to Europe or Iceland or, or Asia or anything like that, on any sort of like um, festival gig, mm-hmm. you know, or even a, a comedy gig, whatever, don't take the return flight the next day. You're already there. Tell them, fly me home a week later. Yeah, stay there a little bit. Stay there. It doesn't cost them. They don't care at all. They're like, if you're- They'll give us a hotel too? Comedy, no, they won't give you a hotel. Oh, we got to get But I'm like, you're already out there. You're not going to be out there for a long time. Right. Just be like, now let me have a week for myself or three right. days or whatever. Right. In fact, you can be like, fly me to Switzerland for this festival. I'm like, hey, fly me home from Munich. And then you're like, take a train to Munich, get there and then get home. 
They'll be like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. How was it I over there? Kind of I'm supposed shit. to be going. I'm supposed to be going to uh, London in I think June. I'm going in April. Nice. How what are you uh, doing? London's it's it's some place. It's some place. <clears throat> some city Jesus. west. I'm sorry, bro. I, I vape. <laughs> edit I'm, that vape. out. No, nah, that's what's that's, her name. That's a, that's, a, that's a edit. That's an edit uh, <laughs> marker. That's an edit. Uh, marker. No, accentuate that. Cut out the nice things. <laughs> accentuate that. Put that Make sound that. over all the nice things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, some city west of London. Promo. I can't remember. Manchester. I think Leeds, Glasgow, Wales. <laughs> some city west of London, <laughs> New York. <laughs> it's in Ireland. London. It's I mean, in what? It's in uh, England. Let's see. England. Where are they flying you for a gig? Uh, or is it a festival? It's the a West gig. Country. Leeds. Because I know I got to. Leeds, I Bath. Know, I know I gotta, Bristol. I know, Bristol. Yeah, I think that's it. I know I got to fly into London. And I, think I bet it's, it's Bristol's 45 minutes away. I think yes, so. yeah. yes, yes, yes. Take yes. a train. The Trains airports are right. so far away from the city. So far away. But the trains work. Yeah. London's great. Yes, right? you're right. Brist- it's, it's called the Bristol Comedy Den. It's where Stephen it? Merchant is from. Really? Maybe yeah. it'll be there. Maybe you know that place? <laughs> the Bristol Comedy Den. I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm going on. Damn. Nice. Just there for that one gig? Yeah. Go to London, do some spots around London. A one nighter? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm you having. You get paid enough if you did it ahead of time in London with spots because they pay better. They don't pay Rogan money, but they pay better than like New York or LA money. Right. Uh, that you could pay for your like Airbnb or hotel nice. for like another week, and then you just do workout spots in London. It is cool. You'll see what yeah. doesn't work there, and it's like such an opportunity to be there. How's like, the humor? How's the humor? Because I was just in, I just got back from Canada. Canada's great. It is, but I, I like, I found myself. He's about to make an excuse for why he failed. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I, they I don't I, like I, Republicans. I failed at no shows. Okay. But, but there was like maybe two jokes I did. I did a joke with an Emmett Till reference, and the crowd looked at me. Yeah, they don't have. They don't. It's not their country. <laughs> that, I'm saying that's where you find out what's a local. Right, reference. right. Yeah. But like, Emmett like, Till is a national reference in America. A little bit. Get there. Oh, maybe you don't know what Canada is a different country. A, <laughs> so a, a national. A <laughs> it's not an international reference. Yeah, they just like. But I would figure Canada like would know about Emmett. Might, but also, not everybody knows about Emmett Till. Yeah, like, our ra- that's our racism. We're like everyone knows about how racist yeah. we are. Yeah, but I was in Winnipeg. It was dope. Winnipeg is Winnipeg is the first place that I smelled crack. <laughs> <laughs> you smelled it by the river. I'm smells like, like burning, burning plastic. Did you inhale? Yeah, it smells or... like burning plastic. Yeah, and I'm like, what is that? And why are these natives just hanging out? Yeah, bro, it's so crazy. <laughs> they treat their natives or indigenous people like how Americans treat Mexicans. Dude, I yeah. love doing that. Yeah, because it was like you make <laughs> so a joke Mexicans. about black and people are like, ooh, I'm like, what? Ooh, fuck you guys with your fucking smallpox and your blankets. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Yeah, they were discovering the little, little bodies of children at the churches, and they were. Uh, they're, they're very nice, bro. Whatever, how boring. Hard, yeah, how, how, the, how boring it is. It they make up for it with how nice they are. Winnipeg's they're so not nice. A great, not a great party town. Winnipeg is the coldest town in canada it's like, really yeah they call it winter peg yeah. love it <laughs> that's how you know it's true it's like this it's better than statistics it's like a rhyme uh wordplay what else have we got free uh hotels from the Hotel. clubs from the- <laughs> that's not <laughs> part you're of, at part of yeah. the i mean like a total free like a business trip yeah right like um a, like ufc fights ufc fights UFC, is nice. like boxing from, from, from from rogan yeah <laughs> I mean, sure, it's still a freebie. It's not exactly what I'm talking about, but it is a freebie. It doesn't have to be from a fan. We we're talking about it also from like, oh, fans. chicks. From, okay. No, no, from anybody. You, you did it from just random chicks. Art, a lot of art. Yeah, lots oh. of artwork. Lots of artwork. Hey, let me just say a public service announcement to all the artists out there who make art about a comedian that they like. You'd have to be a complete toolbox to hang up a painting of yourself in your own home. Oh, shit. So... Don't what? look around. Yes. Toolbox, so, toolbox. Oh, yeah. Tony Hinchcliffe, I'm sure, has a whole wall, a whole <laughs> room of stuff. So you need to give a painting of Hans to some other person who might like Hans. I'm a narcissist, though. But then what do I get out you of it? You suck. You suck. No, I'm saying instead they should paint something related to you. Maybe uh, your hometown in Shanghai. Or <laughs> uh, you mean Shanghai? My hometown yeah, is something that you Thailand. would like in some way. If it was me, it'd be like uh, like a, a Dallas Cowboys, you know, like a championships. I don't know something yeah, like yeah, a yarmulke. Yeah, something interesting, but not me of me. I can't hang that up. Yeah, 
That's it's funny. like a mirror. My 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 portrait that I just got is actually next to my podcast studio. It's like leaned against the wall. I just don't know where I'm gonna hang it yet. Yeah, hang it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. If it's like a bit, if it's like by a fireplace, and you're like, "Welcome," and you act like the most interesting man in the world. So Leslie punched an employee at the comedy store. They, what did they allegedly. do? Allegedly, I'm sure she got something, but allegedly they got into a fight. I get. I'm I'm guessing both people. Regret it. Did something. And I bet they it. both regret acting a fool. And I'm like, what the? F-? <laughs> and I'm like, what is Josh Martin gonna do? What's he gonna do? That yeah, he's he's been there forever. Leslie's way bigger than him too. Leslie's he's, bigger than me and yeah, you. Leslie's not some tall girl. Uh, was she in the Olympics? She did something for the Olympics. No, nigga, she was in Ghostbusters and on SNL. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't know her, but I'm you sure don't know she's Leslie great. Jones? Not really. It's interesting. It's interesting when someone doesn't get a reference, like the Emmett Till. <laughs> <laughs> she, you're like, you're not wrong for not knowing somebody. If you think like someone we all think is funny, and you're like, that guy's not funny. That's an opinion, but you like have never come across right. them. So it's like, huh? What else have we got free? Mm. Drugs. Oh yeah, yeah. plenty. Drugs is nice. I get enough drugs where I could be a legit drug dealer. Dude, when I went to fr- yeah, I went to the Fringe, the Edinburgh Fringe, and so the first year I went. You, you, Paid fringe, you just charge for tickets. Then I went with a free fringe, where it's just you finish your show, just like my special. Hey, you saw that? I'll be outside with a bucket. You thought it was worth something? Fucking put some cash in the bucket. You end up making a lot more money that way. Really? Yeah. Well, you don't have to pay off everybody. It's just like you you pay four hundred pounds at the beginning, and then like, and then the rest it's all just yours. Yeah. Um, but people, some people are like, oh, here's a pound, here's twenty pounds, you whatever they give. And some people are like, uh, here's some wheat. Just put some fucking acid. Random pills. It's like, you're adventurous. I can enjoy. Yeah, drugs is great. What is that, a strawberry one? Yep, yep. yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I was going to do the Fringe Festival, but... What? I'm not going to do it now. Why? For what? What do you mean? What's the point now? What was the point before? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't getting no gigs. You thought you were going to get gigs out of it. No, it is sometimes a job fair for people, but only for like a UK job fair. Yeah. It's like an artistic retreat. Yeah. You grow, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I remember I a lot of. I remember a lot of L.A. comics used to go. I was about to go there again this year, but I'm considering if I should go this year. Well, you, this you but year. you could charge for tickets now, right? I won't. I still do free fringe. And then have the bucket out there. I feel like a lot of people that go there have the same energy of people who are like, I have a girlfriend. She just goes to another high school. It's like <laughs> I'm artistic somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. There yeah. is a lot of that. There's a lot of that there. How was uh merch sales when you do none? None. No, but it's not. It's the, the good dr- thing about drinking Winnib- all the day, it's fourteen hundred comedians are there, and everybody's a show a night. One hour, no openers. You introduce yourself. Hey, everybody, please welcome David Lucas. So, how many shows are going on at the same time? At the same exact time? Yeah, hundreds. Hundreds. Oh yeah, yeah, hundreds. And but people go up from London. Let's say they stay for five days. They stay six shows a night, six shows a day. Start at one. Go tell some weirdo fucking, you know, themey shows in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's such a fun place. It's just a place like you're talking to your buddy and somebody's like, hey, you want to come see a show? It's free. It's right there. You go, yeah, all right. And you just get a beer there, sit there, and then you talk about that show. Could be terrible. Could be like a hidden gem. It's so fun. And everybody's boozing. I had one night. I had, I had these nerd roommates. Ahir Shaw and Alex Keeley and uh, Alex Smith. And, um, and, um. And and then one year we had DeRosa lived with us, and all the nerds fucking picked on DeRosa instantly. <laughs> it just nerdified him. But anyway, one year I was like, I'm, I I I drank too much. I drank twelve days in a row. I can't drink again tonight. Right. I mean, it's everyone. You finish your gig and you show up to these pop up comedy bars, and there's like five of them. It's just there's no reason not to drink. Your show's at six p.m. the next day. Right. And I'm like, I can't. I can't do it again. I'm like, I'm going home. Went back through the park, you know, to, to the house I was staying at, and I here was there with his immigrant parents, his Indian immigrant parents. And I was, he was like, Ari, how are you? My parents are here in the kitchen. I was like, oh, I'll say hi. He's like, come have some wine with us. And we stayed up till fucking 3 a.m. drinking wine with his parents. Like, you can't not drink there. It's so fun. Wow. It's the best. My agent hates it, though. <laughs> wow. I would love to go. Yeah, you should. Every comic should go. I can't believe there's not something like that here. Everything here is sort of like paid or like paid, fucking yeah. you gotta get your way out there you gotta live with some other guys for a while yeah I'm, uh... you could get your own place Canaan did that but he didn't like it as much Che did uh, that he didn't like it as much 
gotta gotta get involved. It's like a summer week, sleepaway camp for fucking comics. And how long is it? A month. Would well, you don't have to August. stay the whole? You don't have to stay the whole month. Right? Yeah, you do. Oh, do you want to experience it? You do. That's a lot to commit. You're stuck. Your your yeah. hour gets so much better. Oh. A week in, you get a little tired of it. Then ten days in, you get like start to get new. And by like like 15, 16, you just fuck. It's so sharp. You think Tony gonna let us miss a month of Kill Tony? <laughs> <laughs> Tony should do a month of Kill Tony's there. Kill Tony say, would crush there. But I said you think he gonna let us miss it if we be like, yeah, we're going he to the fridge. Convince Tony to go there. I'm like, what the fuck are you do doing a month there? Of shows. <laughs> Dude, a Kill Tony show there would crush. A 2 p.m. show. Yeah, you have all the other comics from there because there's so many low four or five year comics there, mm-hmm. and it'd be a chance to get on something. You're like, this is broadcast to have the bucket afterwards. Say this goes some to the to the performers, mostly to us for our room and board. No, we should do that. And then you do your own shows yeah. at night. That because would work. We could we could because a lot of guys do two or three shows. We could do a Kill Tony a day. You could do a Kill Tony a day and that then your own show at crazy. night. That would be crazy. What one Kill Tony every thirty days for thirty one, days? They do roast battle. They did every day. A new minute, thirty minutes of new material. You have to get started ahead of time, but for sure. <laughs> But yeah, why not? Start. A new minute every day, boy, oh boy. My and God. then you do your own show. You do your own hour. You could do a split hour if you wanted, 30 and 30. People do that so that you're not like not able to win awards the next year. It's like red shirting. <laughs> um, can Miss Tony go up there for a month? It's so fun. You could all live together if you wanted or not. Yeah, it's a whole body experience. I think Tony loves the, the riches and the money that he has. He'll make money there. <laughs> You just don't charge for tickets. You gotta just do the free French. And afterwards, you're like, pay, put this money in the fucking bucket. Yeah. And everyone does. Everyone knows the deal. I, I saw like their version of Crystalia is what turned me. You know, like England has their version of our stuff. Yeah. So they're like hot guy with a lot of female fans and male fans, but just like a got hype and it's good looking and on TV. And he was doing it. And no one was like, Ugh, what are you doing? It was just like, it's fine. Do the bucket. I'll be out there. Fucking hit me up. And then everyone just throws in. They know it. It's an artist, artist yeah. thing. The, the rich people are like that was that was worth twenty for sure. The poor people are like here's two pounds, but you keep it all. Yeah, it's good. And how many people can fit in these places? Depends. They shut. It depends. You could be in a forty seat room. You could be a hundred and sixty seat room. You, you know, you could be in a hundred seat room. It's every night, so you know Tuesdays, Wednesdays aren't as full. And you could do multiple shows a night. Yeah. Yeah, and then you go do other people's shows, and you make 40, 50, 60 pounds just to do like guest sets on other people's shows. And that shit adds up. That's what Jimmy Carr told me. Do every other show you can do. And then you meet people that way. You see a new style of comedy. That's how I got that fucking Jew hour. Seeing those people do that badly. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can do that better. But like exposed to that kind of shit. Right, right. Sorry, I'm preaching. No, you're good. I like it. I like listening to you talk, bro. Yeah, if you convince Tony to go. Yeah. Call him a pussy. I mean, Tom, as he said, he's not a real comedy. It, it would have to be. It would, it would have to be you because if one of us said it, he'd be like, yeah. Or do this, like people saying we should go to Edinburgh. Fucking idiots! Right, we got <laughs> the other reverse psychology. Those fucking European yeah. pansies. They They're don't know pansies. real I comedy. I heard a lot of guys who like suck guys' dicks who are in the closet. Well, really? I don't know. I would hate. I go hate there. Them. <laughs> we should go expose them. <laughs> Hilarious. But yeah, I mean, I love it because I think it's good to like do the flashy shows like in America, you know, like the big sold out but rooms it's like, and all that. Yeah, yeah. But it's also good get to work. be like setting up your own chairs. Yeah. Get work. Get work. What is it's the so true fun. essence of what we're doing? Yeah. I would help other people bark for shows. People have plastic oh. flyers. I'm like, oh, come see your show tonight. They're like, yeah, I don't know if people will be here. I'm like, give me a stack of your flyers. He was like, come on, come see, come see Hans Kim. He's really funny. He's from America. <laughs> come see Hans Kim. You get like 30 people in there for him. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, Thinking about it. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. You guys got a podcast together? No. 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 You got, a, you got a podcast. Yeah. What's it called? Hans Kim Podcast. Hans Kim Podcast. Yeah. Mine's called Fake News with David Lucas. Fake News. What's that about? With a Z. Fake News. With a Z. David Lucas with a Z? No, Fake News. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> just watch it. I just talk shit. Talk shit about the news? Everything. What Whatever's going on. I drone on incomprehensibly in a monotone voice. Way to promote. <laughs> I mean, I got to I got I got another podcast. So I got a fishing podcast that will be huge. Uh, it's one about day. fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go fishing and we podcast. While you fish. Mm-hmm. Hans is on it. You're yeah. going to have six different podcasts that you stole that idea from them. 
from Comedians and Cars with Comedy, uh, uh, Bert Kreischer's whatever thing that he stole from Denmark TV, The Cabin. <laughs> Um, something's burning something's burning um um what else oh uh, the hiking podcast with whatever i'm trying to think who else will say you stole it from them the point is you didn't i'll say come <laughs> say it i'll just say come say it in my face yeah i'll say i'll come fishing with you yeah but i won't be on camera what no why just audio only can't really be seen with people. <laughs> no yeah audio only i'll be right off camera. what do you do have another boat off camera for? no we, we bank fish we might catch uh can filter fish you don't. It's like a man-made lake. <laughs> it's wrong on so many levels. It's not, it's not filter fish. What is and also that? It's just like fish. <laughs> it's not a type of fish. What it's is like it? Gufilter fish. Gufilter. Guff. Yeah, that one. And it's just Guff. like fish loaf. It's like meatloaf uh, for fish. Well, we'll catch a gufilter fish. Yeah, let's catch a, <laughs> fish. Catch yeah. a fish stick, too. We'll catch fish stick. We'll catch Kanye West with fish sticks. <laughs> that Mitch Hedberg joke. you got to have really good posture if you want to be a fish stick. I'm now not a fan. The way you said that, I'm no longer a fan of Michelle. Oh, my God. All right, Wonderful. guys, thank you very much. Uh, let's do Venmo. I'll pay your fucking money. Thank you. Can yeah. we get that on camera? Yeah. Um, do it right yeah, I'm now. not saying that on camera. You're not saying your Venmo? What are you afraid? People are going to send you money? <laughs> I'll say my Venmo. They're going to request. Ari Shafir 1. Send me money. Send, not request. Or PayPal. Ari Shafir 1. Um, okay, where's Ben though? Uh, anyway, where podcast. You, where, are you, where are you staying at? Um, the nice the hotel room. Oh, hotel. it's over. The nice hotel room. This song is owned by Ari That's the episode. Oh, all the freebies we got. All the freebies we got over the years is great. That took me back. And again, to all the people who gave out little nothings to comedians, like, I always go back to uh, a Netflix password, a cable password. That shit got us through. It, it was invaluable. It made us live like humans a little bit. Free tickets to a game. Like I say, a nug for a door guy at the comedy store. Uh, um... You can do it at New York Comedy Club, too. It's a lot of door guys working the staff there. You can do it anywhere. If they're comedians. But it, just those little things really did help us. So I just want to thank you again for the support, the free meals. You know, even when in Edinburgh, when I was when I was doing shows, uh, definitely if you want to give me a fucking dollar back for the special, a dollar. Give me a dollar. Go on there. Go to the YouTube thing. Special thanks. One dollar. If all of you did that right now, Legitimately, I would be able to pay off this special. Uh, I know you're like, money's tight. It ain't a, it ain't one dollar tight. Uh, and for all the people who did donate, I would very, very much appreciate it. Um, just everything over the years. Those freebies for com comics really, really did help us. I just still love a freebie. I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about me specifically that loves free shit, but I, we all are thinking the same thing. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow Hans Kim. Follow David Lucas. Um, on social media, listen to their podcasts, and uh, and that's it until uh, until next week, maybe next year. There'll be no episode uh, December twenty seventh. So no, I think we got one more this this year. That's right, we got one more this year, and then that's it till uh, the first week of January. I'll probably end up doing a um, director's commentary of Jew. I'll do a commentary where I talk along with it and tell you how everything started and everything like that. But maybe that'll be in January at some point, like into it, because I really got to think it out first. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Click like. And watch the special, Ari Shafir Jew. It's on YouTube right now. Trying to get to 6 million hits by the end of the year. See you next week. <laughs>